Simple Stories is a combination of oral history and interactive exhibits. Basically, it was put together in order to get communities heard, uh, communities that aren't heard from very often. Usually, they're working class communities. You get transformed the minute you come into Fort Point because you're changing times. I'll tell you, the first artist that came down here. I'm was... painting for a long time. So I think that's why they had the large window. It joins the voices of the people and puts them together with an art form that creates a really dramatic setting for those voices to be heard in. The first community we did was Alston, um, and the second community was Central Square, Cambridge. The third community was Upham's Corner, Dorchester. We're now in the place that nobody knows, <laughs> Fort Point Channel. <laughs> Just cross the water and take a left. <laughs> the piece is about Fort Point and starts with its early history when it was just tidal marsh and works its way up into the present. So that's similar in all the projects we do. Fort Point is the largest artist community in New England, um, not just Massachusetts, but New England. And you know, it's basically people who don't make a lot of money and you don't have a lot of political pull. So it's the same situation in that regard as the other communities we've been in. But generally, once we settle on a place, we basically just start talking to everybody. We, we, not talking, we go and we listen a lot. Then I walked in the room and I saw my first Jackson Pollock. And it just knocked me over. We give presentations, let them know we're here, what we're doing, show them videos so that they actually can see what we're doing. Spend a lot of time in community meetings, just listening mostly, trying to find out what's going on. These are then and now photos of the neighborhood uh, from kind of the turn of the century to now. Sometimes the entire buildings are missing, sometimes buildings are standing all by themselves, which have many buildings around them now. So you have roughly 10 or 12 artists all building different rooms that are all connected to each other, which becomes a walk-through maze. And each of the rooms is narrated by a voiceover taken from the oral histories. So you're hearing the history of the neighborhood from the neighborhood. And all the artists are doing is creating a setting for you to hear it in. This is the dream room component of this Touchable Stories project. I created the installation that envelops the, the interviews that Shannon taped. After hearing from community members about many other things, in this room you hear some of the dreams of the people in the neighborhood. One dream that I had, that was about Fort Point. This building one after the other, we're falling, and it, it was like an earthquake. There was a giant brown bear. I remember one morning going into just the local little... Shannon, I'm telling you, nine out of 10 of the Boston people that is known as the wool capital of Presents the kind of this instant vibe when you go over the bridge, there especially coming I mean, guy living out there. Someone's stealing a car right outside your I basically know all the stories. I mean, I am kind of the repository of all stories from the neighborhood, so I, I walk around with all these ideas and stories all the time. Exposing what's going on in a community to the greater society so that they, un they don't stereotype them anymore and they actually work to kind of preserve these really interesting places. Well, what's happening right now is we basically have the new waterfront happening three blocks to one side. We have a 60-acre convention center happening three blocks to another side, and we've got a developer who's bought the whole other side of us developing that into office park. And so from my studio, I can see clear across the opening that they leveled to um, market rate condos, luxury condos. You know, it's all just, it's all very difficult.
we're losing people daily. It was getting that bad. I mean, we were losing like 50 artists and three nonprofits um, out of a building down here in January. Hearing regarding the retention of affordable artist workspace in the Four Points section of South Boston. This room has excerpts from a hearing that was held last December in order to pass a resolution to help try and protect and preserve the artist community in Fort Point. How important artists are to the life of the city. The extreme pressures which have been brought to bear on this neighborhood. The question is whether we are going to allow ourselves, to allow the city to become just a, a city of bricks and mortar and glitz and glamour. All the way through school, they kept saying, politics and art don't mix. You know, you don't have a social agenda when you're making art, you're making art for art's sake. And, and as important as art for art's sake is, and it did make me a skilled artist, it never kind of allowed for something like this to come out of the work that I was doing because there was no dialogue about it. It's really interesting talking to the artists down here because they're really considering right now, as scary as it is, um, one of the most exciting times to be here. And I think they're seeing what's potentially what they're going to lose and they're seeing how valuable that is and how much they've kind of taken it for granted. The amount of work that's being produced just from being scared and being unsure about the future. Um, but, you know, we've been pretty loud down here and we're gonna get just louder and louder and louder. I was trying to sort of question what is art. What do you, what do, you do? And I very hesitantly said, I'm an artist. The reason that we're here is we really need to do this. Artist is a very integral part of life. And it's a really important message that these communities get heard from and understood. So it, it, this is a catalyst for it. I mean, the artwork is a catalyst. Thank you.